Now, Italian-Australian filmmaker Lisa Camillo has shocked audiences at this year's Italian Film Festival with her first feature-length documentary. Valentes, meaning the brave ones, investigates a dark and secret side to a popular holiday island, Sardinia. Here's a look. After being away for 15 years, I've decided to move back and be closer to my family. But I never expected to find what was hiding on my island. Nelle basi militari della Sardegna operano gli eserciti di mezzo mondo. La NATO, Israele, la Francia, la Germania, che vede la Sardegna come uno scenario di guerra vero e proprio. Lisa Camillo is in Melbourne for the Italian Film Festival. She joins us now. Lisa, good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much be. for having me. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. <laughs> oh, nicely done. Nicely done. I'm not going to try because my accent, Italian accent is terrible. His accent was great. Not actually. too bad. Oh, oh thank you. Now we'll take a note of that. Hey, uh, Sardinia, your, your family hails from Sardinia as well. So there, there was a bit of a personal motivation in going back there. How did you come across this story of what NATO has done to that island? Well, actually, I. I just went back to Sardinia to make a documentary about the place I was from, this beautiful paradise island where all these famous people were going for a holiday, a lot of nobility of, um, of Europe were going there. Diana's last place, actually, on a holiday, the night before she died, she, she was in Sardinia. And so I was there to des you know, describe this paradise of the history um, and how it was founded by a, a, an Arab prince. And yeah, and all of a sudden I heard uh, over dinner that, um, from my father saying, look, there is actually military areas in Sardinia, so you can't circumnavigate the island most part of the year. And I was like, w which military areas? So being an anthropologist, I ended up going to uh, going around uh, they call me the Erin Brockovich of Italy <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny and um, yeah and so in taking my audience with me in this uh, discovery of what actually is happening and why people are getting sick around those areas um, and what NATO is trying to hide well, which is quite scary it's a good title for you to have and you mentioned there that you're taking audience with you how many of the locals there in Sardinia knew about this well, we always knew that there were a couple of military bases, um, but we don't know the extent of the damage that is actually causing. That's the worst part. Um, I, I had a little private screening uh, in Sardinia and people were shocked, completely shocked. They, they were completely unaware. And the people that tried to spoke were kept quiet with uh, intimidations, with um, being fired, with uh, as, as a mayor, for example, one of them, or actually being arrested. Really, for, for speaking up yeah. about the NATO military yeah. testing. So what, what sort of damage are we talking about? What houses uh, destroyed, areas made uninhabitable by, by shells left there? What, what, what are we talking about? Yeah, absolutely. Well, the fact is, first of all, they, they did take by force people from these areas to create the military back in the 50s uh, with the Cold War. Um, and now uh, people around these areas are dying of cancers, like a lot of them, and quite young. And babies are born with, with really serious malformations. And what, do you, what have you found the response so far to your documentary? I had an incredible support from Sardinian people. I, I'm still a little bit scared that I, I'm sure, actually, I had some, some comments of, you know, leave us alone, but that generally people were dealing with the military directly or soldiers in the area. Um, but I had an incredible support and, and it's quite exciting. And we, they actually even asked me to start a political movement, the Valentes movement. Uh, but so far... Yeah, you, I, you can run from here in Sardinia, Lisa. <laughs> so it sounds a bit scary. Though, uh, you know, from my research. Um, but at least for now, we'll just be a movement of a hashtag I am Balente. So we'll Excellent. start with that. And, and people wanting to see this can go to the Italian Film Festival? Yes, they can. To, tonight, for example, there is the Melbourne premiere, yep. which we're very excited, at uh, the Como Palace Cinema. And yeah, hopefully, we'll like, get a lot of people over there. It's a nearly sold out show, so a few spots left. Excellent. I'm sure it will be. Hey, nice to meet you, and, uh, and good luck with your campaign in Sardinia. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. No worries. Thank Lisa you. Camillo there.